Hi, I'm Dan, and welcome to video number 51 in the first Sidebar Fridays video. After 29 years of being a parent, my wife and I are officially empty nesters. And at the same time, my 16 years of serving my city came to a close. So I've got some free time. With that said, I'm going to try to put out a video every Friday. I'll still do my normal, we'll call it feature length videos every other week. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that my sidebars are short features that relate to the main video. Stu Plubeck once told me every one of my sidebars could be a video. Well, Stu, I have a lot of video ideas that will be perfect shorts, at least in my world. I'm going to keep sidebar videos to about five minutes. Yeah, I know, I know, I know you're saying good luck with that. Well, Topics and format will vary. I'm not going to paint myself into a corner. It may be a video of me just going off on a rant, or it might be kind of weird, or I might just highlight one banknote. That's how I got here today, and it was seeing a bison on another banknote, and it's from Belarus. I mean, what the hell is that about? First off, I've got to give a shout out to Nikolai and Roman at Tengri Worldwide Collectibles. They have a massive collection of World Bank notes. They're originally from Kazakhstan, live in Germany, and most of their videos are spoken in Russian. And I have no idea what's being said. I still watch because I'm a total currency dork. But occasionally they do a video in English. Hey, I'll take what I can get. It's about the banknotes, not the language. So why Belarus? Well, before, during, and after the collapse of the USSR, the Soviet ruble circulated in Belarus but was replaced by the Belarusian National Bank of the Republic banknotes in 1992. It took about two years before the new ruble became the dominant currency of Belarus. This is conjecture on my part, because I'm guessing that Belarus didn't want to offend any very large and potentially unstable neighboring countries with a new banknote design. So for their very first banknote series, up to 100 rubles, they selected the very neutral wildlife native to Belarus on the fronts. Higher denominations were issued displaying buildings as the main front vignettes. Anyways, back to the bison. I was watching a video from Tengri Worldwide Collectibles, and they're showing the series of 1992 banknotes from Belarus. I saw the note and asked, what the hell, that's a bison on a banknote, and from Belarus. The Belarusian Wildlife Banknote series starts with the fractional 50 kopeck and has a Eurasian red squirrel eating a nut. The one ruble depicts a leaping Eurasian hare in action. Two Eurasian beavers are on the three ruble note, they should have made it a trio. Illustrated on the five rubles are two common gray wolves. A Eurasian lynx and her kitten are on the 10 rubles banknote. The 25 rubles, by the way a great denomination, displays a moose, which in Europe are referred to as elk. A brown bear, which is not a grizzly bear by the way, is on the 50 rubles. And finally we get to the 100 rubles, which displays the second bison that I've ever seen on post-Civil War currency. Bison appeared on numerous obsolete banknotes from 1830 to 1860, but I'm willing to bet that most people watching the only bison that they've seen on any banknote was the U.S. 1901 $10 legal tender note. A classic collector banknote that's the closest thing the U.S. came to ever issuing a commemorative banknote. For more on that, see the link below to my video, Is This the First Commemorative Banknote? But that was an American bison. The Belarusian 100 rubles depicts a European bison. I had no clue that bison were in Europe, at least until I watched the Tangri Worldwide Collectibles video. I had to know more, so I fired up the Google machine and found out that there are actually two closely related species of buffalo, the European bison and the American bison. I mean, you learn something new every day. The easiest way to tell the difference is the horns. European bison, the horns point forwards, and the American bison more sideways and upwards. Both species are about the same size, but the European bison stands a bit taller. There are also skeletal and other minor differences, but I'm not Marlon Perkins, and this isn't the Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. And if you get that reference, you're at least 45 years old. Today, Belarus issues a beautiful series of paper banknotes of varying color, vignettes, history, culture, architecture, and that also have numerous security features. Not surprisingly, made by the De La Rue Company. Well, that's it for my first Sidebar Fridays in video number 51, Bison on Banknotes. I mean, who knew? I warned you, it might be a little weird. 
and I did meet the time frame. We'll see you next week. If you like what you see, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Thanks for checking in.